The Judicial Commission of Inquiry into Allegations of State Capture has heard more evidence relating to irregularities in the acquisition of over 1,000 locomotives at Transnet. For more on this, we cross our reporter Mbalentle Mtetwa, who is standing by in Park Town. A very good afternoon to Mbalentle. What did we hear about the escalation of costs of those locomotives? Good afternoon, Zinga. The escalation of costs in the acquisition of 1,064 locomotives has been at the center of this judicial inquiry, um, and especially this transnet leg. Um, everyone who has come in has spoken and testified and given evidence relating to irregularities that led to unnecessary costs at transnet. Now, today we heard the testimony of Tiamo Sidumedi, who is from MNS Attorneys. He spoke about how how Brian Malefe wrote a memorandum to the board um, explaining and justifying some of the cost escalations and even going as far as approving them. Now, he says the cost increase was rather unnecessary in the sense that uh, Brian Malefe had cited that they had to include batch pricing and that was necessary because then that, they had to include batch pricing and that led to a cost increase of 2.7 billion rand. Now, Tiamo Sidumedi says this was irregular because it was not included in the original RFP and he says in the RFP they did say that they would not be incurring any penalties if they were to reduce or increase um, their order from the supplier and that's what uh, batch, uh, batch pricing means it means that Transnet agrees to um, basically pay penalties in the event that they reduce or increase their um, the their order from their supplier. Now, we've heard about this um, acquisition of 1,064 locomotives. We know that uh, China South Rail was one of those companies that was um, due to uh, supply um, Transnet with locomotives. And it seems as though we've heard a number of witnesses referring to a special relationship that it enjoyed. And it's almost as though the witnesses create a uh, painting a picture that almost... Um, that almost says that Brian Malefo was basically approving all of these irregularities in the interest of these um, external entities. We've also heard that um, China South Rail was, had um, a, a partner or ha had subcontracted to Kestra, which was a Gupta-linked company. So it's almost as though Brian Malefo was working in the interest of that particular company and a Gupta-linked company. Balentle, so you maybe also said that uh, Mulefe misled Transnet. Talk to us about that. Yes, indeed. Uh, Sidumedi did talk about um, Malefe misleading Transnet. Now, he refers to a memorandum that was written to the board um, approving the cost escalations. Now, he says that according to the PFMA, um, all um, cost escalations or any acquisition or even the, um, the selling of assets has to be approved by um, the Ministry of Public Enterprises. And he says that uh, Malefe misled the board by informing them that they didn't have to go through the board, uh, the ministry rather, in order to um, approve these um, cost increases. Now, the original amount of 38.6 billion rand had been approved by the department, and Sudumedi telling the commission that he believed that because the original amount was approved by the ministry, um, Brian Malefa and the board had to go back to uh, the ministry because um, the ministry forms part of uh, its its shareholders and they had to go back to the shareholder and get approval from there. However, this did not happen and he says this, uh, the, the increase and the approval of it was unlawful. Now we know that MS, MNS has done a forensic rep, uh, report on uh, this um, acquisition and this business case of 1,064 locomotives and they have recommended that, that Transnet lay criminal charges against Brian Malefe 
for, for having misled the board. So we've just been hearing evidence about that and relating to that and so much more that also led to irregularities and other decisions that led to irregularities and unnecessary costs and Gupta Link's companies being paid for work that they had not even done. Um, but the commission will continue after the break. Uh, Sidumedi will be uh, concluding his testimony and we'll have a new witness who is an actuarial science and her name or his name, his name rather is Alistair Chabi. He's an, actu- uh, he's an actuarial scientist and he will be giving evidence in relation to the events that took place at Transnet. For now though, Nzinga, it's back to you in studio. Valentin Teto giving us an update of what's taking place at the Commission of Inquiry into allegations of state capture. Let's go to another inquiry.